What's up guys, I'm going to show you how to make a rotating door just like this one. When you click the red button right here, it'll close the door. And then when, you click the, when you're ready to open the door, you can just click the green button and it opens it right back up. Alright, let's get, let's get right into it. Alright, so first things first is we're going to make a part. It's going to be about one stud long, about this size, or about two studs, sorry. It's going to be about two studs long. And we're going to make it about that high. Now we're going to open plugins and we're going to uh, use this plugin right here. I'll link it in the description for you. Um, I'm going to turn the angle to 30. Make sure you have the part selected right here. And then you want to make sure it's on X2. And if you want to flip it, which I am, you click that. I'm going to turn it down to 20 actually, sorry. And then if you want to make sure it's the right size you can just click render once render whole circle uh, then I'm going to take out these three pieces right here next thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, I'm just going to make a nice little block for my button now what you want to do is you want to take these two bricks right here you're going to duplicate them and you're going to bring them out and line them up just like so. You may have to line it. It may take you a bit, to, maybe a bit hard to line them up, but that looks about good to me. Now we are going to, uh, now we're going to start, we're going to import, add a remote event and start naming stuff right now. First thing I want to name right now is I'm going to name, actually right here, you, you want to union this, and you want to name it this door, just like this, sorry, door. Now we're going to find, now we're going to take, um, right here and we want to make a door rotator part so we to make sure that is and by the start and we're going to name this part door rotator um, this part will only be this part this part won't be invisible won't be visible, sorry. We're gonna go down here and click can collide and turn that off. Um, now we're going, we're gonna have a start position, so we're pretty much gonna duplicate that, rename it start position and then we're going to have an end position and we're going to name it so we, sorry we want to duplicate this turn it to about right there and we're going to name it in like just like that um now we're going to find that this and we're going to name it uh door door rotator right here we got all these parts in and now once we have that we want to uh, import a bindable function I think is what it's called we're actually going to want to group this all real quick and drag this into the group. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's get rid of this for so we don't confuse ourselves. We're gonna name it door. No, door, right here. Okay. Now, import. We're gonna right-click it, import object, and then findable function, and we're just gonna rename this door move uh... just like that 
and then now we're going to import a remote event not rename remote event and we're going to name it door move just like that okay we got our main stuff down we're going to we're going to make both of these invisible so we're going to take transparency and we're going to click one so that makes it invisible and also turn that to one all right now is the scripting part so what you want to do is we actually want to make a button right here so i'm just going to duplicate make it a green button Right there, I'm going to make this one green, and right here, I'm going to insert a, a, a click detector, and also a script. Um, that is good right now, and then we're going to find the other button. Actually, we're going to name this one right here. Um... We're going to name it, let's just name it Open the Door. And then I'm going to duplicate that one, drag it right into place, and rename it to Close the Door. Okay. Now once we have our Open and Closing Door, buttons done we want to i'm just going to take out the other button that's not supposed to be there close the door and let's just make that red for us now we got our buttons right here so for the closing door we're just going to type event equals script dot parent dot parent dot door move um right here door move function pretty much uh now script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click and then we're gonna connect and then function uh, let me get rid of this other one. I messed that up. All right, now we're really not in event evoke close. Good. Right there. So we got our closing script done. Now we're going to find do our opening script open the door now for our script we're gonna we can actually pretty much just copy this one right here and paste that in and we're gonna change this to open and then door move function even open all right good Now we are going to find, sorry, now we're going to insert a, a script just right in here, okay? This one's going to be pretty long. This is going to be the main script, pretty much, and that's going to play right now.
now we're going to scroll down right here and we're going to find in the starter player we're going to starter player scripts and we're going to insert an object that's going to be a local script okay now we are going to type nope not that event equal game dot workspace dot door dot door move and then Oh, but button open equals game dot workspace dot door dot open the door dot click detector now button close equal game dot workspace dot door dot close the door dot click detector now button we're gonna find button open oops sorry open button open dot uh, mouse click connect function and then let's just in this off right there okay we're gonna go down here sorry let's just go down here all right now button dot mouse click oh Connect function. All right, that part is all done. Okay, and I almost forgot. You're gonna want to take the door, and you're gonna want to take these two objects. Nope. You're gonna weld, wanna weld the door and the door rotator. You can use um, the plugin uh, Moon Animator. It has something called Easy Weld in it. Uh, you can just use that. It's the easiest way to do it. It's literally called Easy Weld. And then, yeah, you just wanna weld those two parts together. I don't know why my mouse is doing this thing. Door and then, yeah. So I'm going to have to ungroup that door and door rotator, easy weld, select that. Uh, okay, do I want to do... Join in place? You want to do join in place. Now that should be... Okay, that should be all welded now. So, if I'm correct, we just I'm gonna have to regroup with all this stuff. Nope. Uh, take that base play out. All right, good. That should all be good now. Um, give me one second. I'm gonna fix my mouse. Okay, you should probably um, unanchor your door part. Uh, and when I was doing this right here, I wrote event wrong. So double check and make sure that you have that written right um, on both of them. And it should work fine then. All right, so make sure to also anchor your do door rotate part. Um, also there shouldn't be any decimals uh in the orientations uh there should be commas i'm pretty sure uh yeah uh now it should be pretty much ready uh let's test it out so as you can see it does work you click the green button 
it closes, you click the red button. I mean, it closes when you click the red, it opens when you hit the green. Um, yeah, so, amazing. Make sure that the orientation of the door rotator uh, start start position and the end uh, position have no decimals in them. If if it has a decimal, just remove it. Now, if you want to open the door using a local script, type this in your local script first. Find where your event is. Uh, for us, it is inside of our door model. Possibly uh, do yours in it too. Name your door, name your event door move. Then, t then type it. Then type in a local script that the path for the event for us. For us, it is door event equals game dot workspace dot door dot door move. Then do door door event uh, fire server open. If you want yours to open do door vent fire server close um, if you want to close remember this can only be done using local scripts and the local scripts don't work in workspace so go to the function you created in the model rename it door move func then find the functions path for us, door function equals game dot workspace dot door dot door move function. Then do door function invoke open. The open and door function invoke close. To close, here my friend has done it. Firstly, locally, in the starter player. Then, in the buttons itself, server side.